my friends, it's Larissa, aka La to the A E double S A. Welcome back or welcome to the channel. If you are new here, this is the place on the internet where I help fellow real estate brothers and sisters level up their content creation, marketing, and branding game with Canva and the Wolfpack here at EXP Realty. If you know, you know. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to create a clickable Gmail signature with social media icons. Now, if you've been on this channel with me for a while, you would know that this video is going to be my third Gmail signature tutorial because as of recently, Gmail has changed some things in the back end and now people are getting this error message that's saying that their Gmail signature is too long. And trust me, it's not because I found a way to get around that. So per usual, I'm gonna show you how to create the graphics in Canva. We're gonna create the chart guidelines in a Google Doc and then find we're going to properly format your email signature in the back end of gmail settings okay so if you are ready be sure to like comment and subscribe because you know i got the vibes and let go all right here we are at the canva dashboard and to make things pretty easy for myself i typically like to look for the instagram square feed post which is typically 1080 by 1080 pixels now with this we are going to be creating our profile image and our social media icons now I'm going to go to my brand kit here. I'm going to go into my other brand kit down here. And I have this specific logo or profile picture of myself. It's a pop out profile picture. If you want to learn how to create this, I do have a previous tutorial on my channel, which you can check out in the cards above and in the description box down below. All right. So if you don't have that, typically what I would do is just go into elements and then you just grab a circle. And then all you have to do is just plop a photo into here. So let me just show you what that looks like. You can just do that. And then you can use this as your profile picture if you would like. Now, in this case, I'm just gonna stick with this image here. I'm just gonna make sure that it actually fills up the page here. And now we're gonna move on to creating our social media icons. I like to keep it pretty simple. I just like to do YouTube, Instagram, and what else? Website icon, okay? So I wanna show you something that is new to canva and that is being able to create your own gradients so we can create gradients within shapes and within backgrounds themselves so i'm going to grab this circle here i'm going to make sure that it fills up this and now what i'm going to do is click out of that and i'm going to click on the shape again because now shapes can also act as text boxes so we were going to go up to here the color up here click on that click on it we're already in that and then what i'm going to do is just click on the three dots here now what you notice is solid color and gradient color so click on gradient and now as i said you can create your own gradients so you can choose up to 10 different colors if you want but that's that's kind of a lot so i am just gonna go with something like this for now just to keep in line with the brand colors of this particular palette here now what's interesting is you can also change the style of where the gradient is coming from so you can do it from this direction that direction or a circular eclipse kind of thing and that kind of thing so whatever you like i let's see here i think this one looks kind of cool and then what i'm going to do now is just duplicate this i don't know why i made the extra pages <laughs> so here you have your three icons. Now we're gonna go into elements. And again, for this, I'm just gonna look up YouTube. And I'm just gonna grab this one because I know we can change colors. Should I make it white? Should I make it white? Make it white. And then I'm just gonna do that. So that's YouTube. And then we're gonna go and find Instagram. And again, you can put whatever social media platforms you are on again i just like to keep pretty uh simple we don't want to give them too many options so you know when there's too many options they don't know what to click in this case uh, and this i'm going to go with a website icon here and i typically like to use this one because it has the www dots they know it is a website so i'm just going to resize this and with this one you can also change the color as well now let me just see what we have here we have our profile picture youtube instagram and our website now we're going to go up to the share button up here we're going to click on the download and again we're going to use png with a transparent background okay yes you will need canva pro for this but if you create icons that fill up the whole page in this case like a square icon rather than the circle one you should be set to go just to download as a png or a jpeg okay now we're going to go into a plain google document and this is where we are going to create a chart so we're going to go into tables we're just going to do two by one 
and I'm just going to just make this a little bit smaller just like that this first column here is going to house our photo and then the second column here is going to be all of our contact information now this is where you want to put your name spell it right and then you're also your other contact information or your position email and things like that and phone number i'm just going to paste this from my other screen here and then for this you can also change your font as well so i'm going to go with georgia here i'm going to bold it and i'm also going to make this uh, quite big i think i'm going to italicize it so it's looking like that again you can also put your phone number in there as well now what we're going to do is right click on this chart here and we are going to go down to table properties here okay and what we're going to do is go into i believe it is the color cell over here and then we're just going to make the border zero all right so now it's a it's a transparent chart okay it's so now at this point we want to click and drag our mouse we want to right click and hit copy go into your gmail settings we're going to go over to this coggle sign over here which is your settings see all settings and we are going to scroll down until we see where your email signature is going to be it's toward the bottom here your signature right here we're going to click create new i'm just going to name this test for now and what i'm going to do is right click and uh, paste your gmail signature in so this is a chart i spelled my name wrong fix that and now this is where we can add in our images and hyperlinks so this is what we're going to do we're going to go into we can either do yes insert image and i'm going to upload this from our desktop here and now you can only do one at a time so we're gonna have to do this manually one at a time and then it's going to look huge. Don't be alarmed. We're just going to right click, click on it, or just click on the image itself. And we're just going to go to small uh, for now. Don't worry. We're going to, we're going to make this look nice. And then I'm going to hit uh, enter on my keyboard here. And then I'm going to, again, use the insert image and we are going to upload our social media icons. So go ahead and click that. And then again, click on the image. We're just gonna size it to small for now. And then just hit space so we can enter in another image right next to it. And then again, upload. We're gonna hit for Instagram. And again, it's gonna look ginormous. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Right here. Small. Again, we're gonna hit space and then insert another image as well our final image which is going to be our website okie dokie so again it's going to look ginormous we're going to find it click on it small uh, okay so it's looking kind of funky right now uh, don't worry about that we're going to fix the formatting of this but what i want to do right now is to add in the hyperlinks for each of these clickable social media icons. So what we're going to do is you want to select this by either clicking or dragging or just clicking on the image like that, clicking and dragging like that. So we're going to do YouTube first. We're going to go to the link button here, and this is where you want to go ahead and add your link. So I'm just going to go to my link tree and I'm just going to grab that, paste that in here, and then I'm going to highlight this and then it it kind of is um, covered by that so it's in here you gotta just yeah okay and then go into my link and the tree and i'm going to copy what was it instagram again paste that in here and then finally the last one is going to be a website and i'm going to try to find the the link here and then i'm just going to take my uh, link tree for now but if you have a real estate website or a website of any sort you can put that in there so i'm just going to do a link tree for now now we, what we are going to do here is make sure that we assign this email to uh, to the email that is outgoing so we're going to just make sure we put uh, for new email use test and we're going to do test for now okay now scroll to the bottom we're going to save changes and as you see there's no error message Woo! okay now this is where we have to do an extra bit of formatting so we're going to open up a new uh, email <laughs> and what we are going to do is just go ahead and resize this as best as it fits here 
You might just need to eyeball it like that. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, too much. Now we're just going to make these smaller. You're going to have to kind of guess, guesstimate. So the icons are roughly the same size. So this is a little bit too small. A little bit too small. Okay, okay, okay. That looks about right. Nope, too big. Okay, so that looks roughly all the same. Same, same size, same size. And you can see that if I click on each image, each picture, it is hyperlinked to the appropriate website. And then this is also hyperlinked as well, your email. And what I'm gonna do is click and drag. And we are going to, again, copy this. Just copy it. Use your keys on your keyboard or just copy like that. We're going to go back. We're just going to just exit out this for the, or just minimize this for now. We're going to go back into our settings here. Go into see all settings. We're going to scroll down and you can make a new one. Let's just make a new one for now. Test two. We're just going to paste in our email signature. Now I'm not sure if you guys see this, there's like dashes here. So I'm just going to remove that. Uh, there was dashes there, but now they're gone. So that looks perfect. Now, again, we have to assign the signature to our email. So we're going to go test two, test two. And here is the moment of truth. Scroll down, click save and we should be good. Okay. So now we're going to open up another email. And as you can see, our email signature is properly formatted and we're just going to send this out to a, another email. So we see that it isn't working properly. So let me go and send this over to myself. XP real. Okay. And let's just hit send. All right, friends, this is what the email signature looks like when we open it up. So let's do some quality checking by right clicking on each element and opening up. Er, yep, it works. <laughs> so we have our YouTube, we have our Instagram and again, our link tree that it automatically just opened up. So that is how you create your email signature without Gmail saying your signature is too long because it is not. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, if it was helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and comment down below hashtag and crew. So I know you stay to the very end. And apparently this is what the YouTube algorithm wants you to check out next. So if you're ready, three, two, one.